going to try something a little different because I spent all day trying to find something to speak about from somebody else and nothing stuck to me. So I'm just going to go with um, what the Lord is saying to me a little bit about, it's not so much about all about praying, but um, anyway, some of it is. As I was looking today, I was thinking about the great men and women in the, in the Bible that prayed. And of course, David is one of my favorite. I like, I love the Psalms. And um, he, as we all know, he was a man after God's own heart. And God's saying to a lot of us that we have to, we have to spend more time with, with him. We have to come up to a place higher. And David um, was a mighty warrior and he was a mighty king but he also had many troubles and trials that he went through. And, but he had a heart, he was, one thing about him, he was repentant. And if, even though he went through some battles and some, um, had sin in his life, he still had a heart that God knew what his heart was like. He still had a heart after God. He was a man of prayer. His, his life was prayer and praise. And, and um, he devoted himself to those things. Uh, I'm just reading, there's some scripture that came to mind. I guess I'm going to just talk a little bit. Pastor mentioned on Sunday night and, and on my way in, um, back into church on Sunday night, I had said to the Lord, Lord, I need a word. And not <clears throat> a word per se from Pastor, but a word, whether it's in scripture, whether it's from song, uh, from worship, whatever. Right? So I need a word. So as the um, as Pastor mentioned about shutting the door, that we can shut the door to, and I probably have heard that many, many, many times, that we can shut the door to the year before and we can walk through that door and not take any of the things with us. But I didn't hear it in that light as what I heard on Sunday night, that, that we can go through and there's some things <clears throat> that's happened in the last year and even in the last two years. I, I didn't just shut the door on 2023. I shut the door on some other some other years that there were things that we carry with us. We take them with us into the next year and it, it really spoke to me that we can shut the door. In fact, I slammed the door on some <laughs> of the things that you know, like, because we, there's things that happen, and not not that they're bad things, but they're things that keep you from prayer. They're things that keep you from <coughs> even church and coming to church and, and being attentive and being part of the service. I mean, you can come to church, and you can be here in body, but you sometimes are not here in the spirit. And some of the things in our lives that, like I said, might not be bad things, they still... The enemy uses them, so that really spoke to me. So that was that was my word that we can shut the door um, to the things that um, that the enemy or things of the year before, and then we need to keep that door shut. We need to not bring those things back through the door with us. And and that when I mean, the enemy has come back at me and said, "Oh yeah, but this has happened and that's happened." And, but God, and you just remind them, <clears throat> they're on the other side of that door. They're yeah. back there in 2020. Even, you know, we carry things with us from our childhood that we per yeah. sometimes have never got rid of. And we've thought we've got rid of them. We thought that we've slammed the door on them. But we pick them back up again. And um, so uh, the Lord's saying to us in, in 2024, to keep the door shut. Do not open the door yeah. back to yeah. those things. And some of the scriptures that came to mind um, while I was just um, dwelling on that was Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. And I think that was, maybe today was a scripture that that was posted, I think, for maybe Word of Faith, either today or yesterday. And it's um, <coughs> one that we're all familiar with. <coughs> And it says, Remember ye not the former things, yeah. neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. 
Shall we not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And that is the scripture that <coughs> spoke to me while I was thinking about things that have taken place and how we shut the door and things. To, not to remember those former things, but to move on, to press on. And another one was um, Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 that came to me. was the scripture that came. And uh, sometimes you don't know that you know these scriptures mm -hmm. until when you're just sitting and contemplating and it's and that scripture tells us we all know this one too it says we're foreseeing we are also compassed compassed around about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us looking into jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Another one was Philippians 3.13. That tells us, Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me, reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We press on. We don't we forget the former things, and we press on to the things that God has for us. And as we heard on Sunday morning, and, um, you know, the things that, through Prophet Dale that are going to happen. Um, we need to be pressing in. We need to be pushing into God. and Because um, we're in a preparation time. And that's the only way we're going to be prepared is by spending time with Him and getting to know Him. And again, the other verse, um, Jeremiah 29, 11. And we all know that ver that scripture that says, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. And um, so God has a plan, and um, he has a purpose, and he's He's uh, speaking the same thing to everybody. If you, read, if you listen to some of the prophets, a lot of them are all saying a lot of the same things. Um, and I'm not a person that listens to a lot of prophets, but I know I've just caught some things that people are saying. Um, Nate Johnson is one as well that um, I know Kim mentioned him today on Facebook. Um, and he has, he's just saying God is calling us up higher. He's calling us up to a place and he wants us to spend time with us, with him and in that place. And as we spend time with him, and we get to know him and we know his heart and we pray on his heart. We pray the heart of God out of that that he has for the world. So that's what I have for today. I know it's short and uh, it's just what God had laid on my heart and uh, just going to try some something different this year. Um, just been just with God um, giving me anything that he gives me and if it and I believe that God